Today I'm going to be showing you how to install Max HUD OEMs alongside tracks on your MX bikes for Max setup alongside fixing up your most common issues that you left commented on my previous installation video and find your GUID so that you can get started buying paid tracks and playing online competitively doing like ARL stuff on your MacBook. Let's go ahead and get started. For all of this, pretty much everything MX bikes in your Mac, you're gonna need to download the Unarchiver. It's a 100% free application. It just helps you unzip big files and RARs. Um, go ahead and download that. I'll leave the link to everything in the description below. Uh, and once you have the Unarchiver inst installed, you can go ahead and download your OEMs. That's a big download that might take a few minutes. Feel free to pause this video. And you'll also need to install or download Max HUD, excuse me. Once you've downloaded all of your files, I have a track, which is a .pkz file here. I have my max HUD zip file here, and I have my MX OEM zip file here. Go ahead and just double click to unzip them. Now, if you've installed the Unarchiver correctly, they should just appear here on the screen. It's that easy. Just double click, drag it down, and you don't need to do anything with your .pkz file. That is the correct format for all of your tracks. Now what you need to do is go ahead and look up Whiskey. In your applications once you've pulled up whiskey you're gonna to need to open your C drive now again this all assumes that you've watched my previous video on how to install MX bikes on your Mac you followed all that correctly and if you have you can start by installing your OEMs by going to users crossover you can go to documents Faboso, MX bikes and you'll now find a mods folder and if you notice and you've unzipped your MX OEM file correctly, you'll also have a mods folder on your desktop, just like I just did. All you need to do is take this and drag it onto here and drop it. That's all you need to do. I'm not going to do that because I've already installed my mods. Next, let's install Max HUD. Start by going to Open C Drive again. This time, Program Files, x86, then Steam, Steam Apps, Common. MX bikes and now you'll see a plugins folder go ahead and open the max HUD folder on your desktop We previously created when we ex when we opened or unzipped that max HUD dot zip file Then you'll find a max HUD data folder and you'll find a bunch of DLO files You need to take the max HUD data folder drag that into plugins and you also need to take the max HUD underscore MXB, which stands for MX Bikes. These are all for different games, so make sure you grab the right DLO. Grab this MXB64 DLO and drop that into plugins as well. I'm not going to do this. Again, mine's already installed, but afterwards it should look like this. You should have a max HUD underscore data folder and you should have max HUD underscore MXB64 DLO file. Finally, let's finish up by installing our very first track before we get to testing. Go to Open C Drive. Let's go back to Users, Crossover, go to Documents, Paboso. Now, if you didn't already do this already, take your MX Bikes folder, shove it in the side, make it easy to install mods in the future. And then you can just click that folder on the side, go to Mods, take your track.pkz, drop it in the tracks. And if you want to go a step further, I'll drop it specifically into Supercross. It's that easy. And now you have your very first track installed. You can also, this is where you would drop like your uh, your rider paints, etc., or your custom bike paints. You can see those are in each one of these respective folders. Now let's go ahead and open up MX Bikes and test out our new mods. If you want a tutorial on how I made this nifty little icon at the bottom here, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I will make one of those very next. Now that MX Bikes is open, we can start by grabbing our GUID if you haven't already. Go to Profiles. Grab your GUID right here, and this is what you can put into mxbikes-shop.com to go ahead and get your unique track download set up so you can start playing an ARL ranked online, etc. Then go to done, go to testing, make sure your track is here. It should be under Supercross, which is where I put mine, but yours will be wherever you put it. Go to bike, make sure you select your new OEM bikes, not the good old MX1 or MX2s. And then hit start. We'll go ahead and set up Max HUD next. Once we're here, you can go ahead and hop on the track and hit Caps Lock. Whoop. Caps Lock will open your Max HUD menu where you can go ahead and enable maps because that will come off by default. You're gonna wanna hit enable standings and I like to leave timing on. Uh, I also have fuel on, but pretty much nothing else that I run is on. 
And that's it. You could spin a lap, make sure your fuel works, etc. But that's how to install Max HUD, mods, that's how to install tracks, pretty much everything for MX bikes on Mac. If you're having any issues still, I recommend you skip restarting Steam, you skip restarting MX bikes. Just go ahead and restart your entire computer, and I guarantee you when you pull it back up, all of your issues should be fixed. If you have any other questions for uh, regarding MX bikes on MacBook Pro, please let me know in the comments. I try to read every single one of them and respond to each and every one of you, even if it takes me a week each. I know hope you still have questions regarding Intel MacBook setup. I hope to say the video is coming. It's kind of hard, but I will say the leading solution that I have found, uh, Buzz Cooksey commented and said the best way to run it is with Boot Camp, and then you just install Windows Steam and MX bikes normally under your Boot Camp Intel MacBook Pro. Uh, I've also heard that you could run it with crossover. Please try both of those out. Let me know what you think. Uh, but ultimately, I hope this helps. I hope I see you guys in the pub lobbies. Till next time, thanks so much for watching.